Hi, I'm Ben from Aperture. As you know, the past several years have produced dynamic and foundational changes in how we light and control our sets. Data is everywhere. We have made it our priority to understand those achievements to better serve our community as problem solvers and solution architects. Starting with the Citus One, we brought this philosophy and approach to one universe of wireless data. Now we are taking that one step further. Well, four steps with the new Citus Four. Citus 4 is the newest addition to Aperture's Citus ecosystem. It is Aperture's premier all-in-one networking device designed to thrive in the most demanding lighting situations. With up to four wireless universes and four wired universes, a large TFT display, IP65 dust and water resistance, and an internal backup battery, it may be the last transmitter you will ever need. Let's get to the features. Citus 4 gets its name from its four universes of wireless CRMX transmission. Using 2.4 GHz for CRMX, the Citus 4 offers rock-solid, interference-free control with four CRMX transmitters. The Citus 4 also has a built-in four-port node. This provides an additional four wired DMX512 outputs, perfect for more versatility and essential for legacy lights not equipped with wireless capabilities. That's four wireless and four wired universes for up to eight universes of control. With dual ethernet ports, you can link multiple Citus 4s together to expand to a near infinite number of universes. And the Citus 4 can listen to both ArtNet or SACN. Citus 4's TFT interface display is easy to see instant network vitals. It makes keeping track of network diagnostics simple. Green is good, red is bad. And the screen is so big you can see it on the grid. With an IP65 rating, Citus 4 can weather a storm literally. It also has an internal backup battery that lasts for over an hour. A V-mount battery plate offers an option for a full day of power, and its 3 8 inch mount makes it rigging friendly. And all this for a price that can't be beat. Let's break down the technical aspects of the Citus 4. Four universe CRMX transmitter, built-in four port ethernet node, simple to use and informative display, built-in ethernet switch, five gigahertz Wi-Fi router, 3 8 inch anti-twist screw mount, built-in V-mount battery plate, internal backup battery with up to 80 minutes of runtime, IP65 dust and water resistance, front-facing USB-C port for updates, remote management with Citus Link Pro. It includes a rugged case, four male-to-male -male DMX adapters, five antenna for CRMX and Wi-Fi, one 3 8 inch baby pin receiver with anti-twist screw, and a universal AC power adapter. When we say clear as day display, we are talking about this impressive TFT screen. Let's break down how easy this screen is and a quick layout of the Citus 4. First, we have port letters A through D and they're assigned universes. These are your wireless transmitters. They directly correlate to the A through D antennas on the back of the unit. On the screen below the CRMX outputs are the ports E through H. These are your ethernet node outputs. These directly correlate to your four DMX ports on the side of the unit. In the top right corner, we have your connection methods for ethernet and Wi-Fi, as well as your current power method, AC, V-mount battery, or if you're on the battery backup. Along the top lies the status bar. The bar blinks red with any errors or green and says good when all is good. In the top left corner, we have the connection method, SACN over Wi-Fi, ArtNet over Wi-Fi, or SACN over wired, and ArtNet over wired. Use the scroll wheel and select an output to set your universe settings and linking key. Next, let's dig deeper into the ways that we can use the Citus 4. I'm here with Dave Slotke, local 728 lighting programmer on such projects as Avengers, The Grinch, and Starship Troopers. Well, thanks for joining us here. Yeah, of course. We're here today to talk about the Citus 4 product. But before we do that, let me ask you about wireless technology. What are the challenges with data? Where have we been and where are we going with this? The sets have always been big, obviously, in Hollywood, and we light a lot of area. But then with the advent of multi-channel fixtures like uh, you know, image 80s and you know, multi-channel space lights, we really ended up with a ton of data that had to get pushed through. So much so that on more than one job, I was there with 
two lighting consoles side by side because there just wasn't anything made that ran enough sheer channel counts out. And then of course, with that comes a giant loom of 16 universes or of, of DMX that has to go everywhere to wherever it's gonna end up. So you have these, like the data waterfall right next to the actual power waterfall. The days of like a stack of opti splitters with, you know, if you wanted five universes at a, at a drop, you'd need just a node. So Dave, let me introduce you to the Citus 4. It is a four universe CRMX transmitter with a built-in ethernet node by Aperture. So what we're gonna do now is set it up into four universe transmitter mode. So from the console, uh, how many universes are you sending right now? Four. Four, perfect. So let's, uh, let's plug in our, our SACN and uh, let's see its magic. It's about as simple as it gets. Right on, yeah, you can see here, universes A through D, they're showing green. Green is good, we have data. So Dave, let's go ahead and unpatch universe four. Yeah, that's pretty clear. I like that. Yeah, so universe four is unpatched, so output D is now red. Yeah, it's very obvious, isn't it? A big red box. Big red box, universe four now is red. You need to know that you have to go up and troubleshoot it, figure yeah, it out. exactly. Which I'm gonna do right now because I don't like to see red boxes on anything, so let me, awesome. fix, that before, <laughs> let me fix that before I forget. On the side of the side is four here, we have a built-in four port node. That means we can send out four separate universes out of these DMX ports. So let's go ahead in the console, let's patch in universes five through eight. All right, what do you see now, Dave? Five through eight. Five through eight. I see E through H, it says DMX out. What does it say at the top of that, Dave? Oh, it's green, so it's yeah. good? Green. That's good, that's good. Excellent, excellent. So now we've configured the four wireless universes to send DMX and the four port node to also send DMX. So we're sending eight universes out, four wired and four wireless. So let me show you one other cool feature of the Citus 4. Let's go ahead and pull out that SACN. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use one of these included five pin DMX turnarounds. I'm actually gonna plug in DMX into my, my node over here and it's gonna do something completely different without SACN or ARTnet. So what we've done is we are sending four universes from the console into the Citus 4 now. This gives you the ability to go right into a wireless transmitter without having to do the whole run through with SACN or ARTnet, right? That's right, it turns it just into a very simple DMX in four All universe right. transmitter. So Dave, that's simple mode. In addition to simple mode, there's some other features I wanna tell you about with the Citus 4. So let's pull these out. We're gonna set them here. Put this back in. Yeah, go ahead, plug that back in. Have you ever needed more than four universes on set? Uh, every day. Every mean, day. Other than every day, you mean? Yes. yes, yes. Other than every day, yes. I do need more than four wireless universes. Well, that's excellent, because with the Citus 4, you can use multiple Citus 4s in a rig. You can add more and more universes to your lighting network. There are many ways you could power your Citus 4. Like right now, we're using an AC power adapter with a locking connector in here. You can also use a V-mount battery. Now you might think, I don't want to use my wireless on a, v on a battery, but the V-mount battery will essentially last you all day on right. production. Yeah, or you're in a car. Or you're in a car. Or you're driving for something. Yeah. I mean, in a car is perfect, but the V-mount battery, you can yeah. easily, easily power it that way. And in addition, there is a backup battery that will last an hour if you accidentally lose power. So another cool feature with the Citus 4 is remote management. With our Citus Link Pro app, which we have over there, you can see and configure all the settings of your Citus 4. So you could change output A to be universe 12 if you wanted to, or universe 42. All those are available within the app, and you can even send the link commands from the app. So it really offers a great way to do remote management of your Citus 4 network. So Dave, thanks for coming out today and letting me share with you the Citus 4. You're welcome, I, uh, I look forward to taking it out on set. We wouldn't be bringing you new data products if it didn't work with the cornerstone of our ecosystem, Citus Link Pro. Citus 4 can be configured directly within the connections management window of Citus Link Pro. Choose the universe for each of your four wireless transmitters and four wired ports. Send the link command to any universe, set the linking key and more. Even on large productions, Citus Link Pro can be used to monitor and configure your lighting network. In addition to the wired ethernet modes that we just shared with Dave, the Citus 4 can also be controlled over Wi-Fi using apps like Citus Link Pro, 
with Citus 4's built-in wireless router. When controlling the Citus 4 over Wi-Fi, you have the same configurations available as the Ethernet setup. Four universes of CRMX out and four universes of wired DMX out. With a USB-C network adapter, your iPad can plug directly into the Citus 4 network port for wired control of your lighting network. At Aperture, we're a team of professionals who, like you, have dedicated our careers to the demands of the set. We understand the pressures, the challenges, and the moments that define every production. Our focus is on empowering you to excel in your role, allowing you to concentrate on crafting the stories that matter most to your team on set. I'm excited to see how the Citus 4 enhances your workflow, whether as a versatile, all-in-one solution for commercials or using multiple Citus 4s on large-scale productions. Not only does the Citus 4 boast incredible features, but it's also priced affordably. For those ready to elevate their setup, the Citus 4 is now available for purchase in select regions. Check with your authorized Aperture dealer or visit aperture.com to see if it's available in your area. And don't forget, Citus Link Pro is available for download now from the App Store. I'm Ben Dynas, and as always, I'll see you on set.